It's new details now on the case involving fallen Yarmouth Police Sergeant Sean Gannon, the man accused of fatally shooting the officer back in court yesterday. The suspect's attorneys are busy at work looking to try to ease the charges against him. Brandon Truitt is in the control room with more of what happened in the courtroom. Well, Patrick Danielle, good morning. The defense team for Thomas Latanowicz wants his charges reduced. Right now, the 32-year-old is facing a first-degree murder charge, but his attorneys argue there's just not enough evidence to support that his actions were premeditated. It has been two years since Sergeant Sean Gannon was fatally shot. He was just 32, considered an up-and-coming star in the department. Police reports show that it happened when the officer and his canine were delivering a warrant to the suspect's home. Yesterday, family of Officer Gannon said on one side of the courtroom, the suspect's on the other. Tuesday's pretrial hearing went over 911 calls and phone records from that April afternoon. Police reports showed the suspect locked himself in the attic of the home after he was allegedly had already shot the officer. One detective testified about his conversations with Latanowicz over the phone while he was barricading himself inside. That same detective was then cross-examined by the suspect's attorney about Latanowicz's demeanor that day. He said um, something words to the effect that why should he surrender and go, go away to jail for the rest of his life. No crying. No crying. No screaming. No screaming. No threatening to you. No threatening. No belligerence. No belligerence. Latanowicz, the suspect, has a lengthy criminal record dating back to 2005. There is another pre-trial hearing scheduled for August with an actual trial beginning sometime later in the fall. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.